engaging tone. Ever wondered why we need a review of a review? Is it because we're running out of original ideas or is it simply a new level of internet inception? And who better to lead this charge than the king of YouTube himself, PewDiePie? Voiceover, sarcastic tone. Let's start with the logo, a true work of art. A picture of PewDiePie reviewing someone reviewing him. It's an absolute mind bender, like watching two mirrors reflecting each other till infinity and beyond. Voiceover, humorous tone. Let's not forget the thumbnails, those colorful arrows pointing at screenshots of other YouTubers' thumbnails. They are the epitome of artistic expression. And the title, Reviewception, a true stroke of genius that would make even Leonardo da Vinci green with envy. Scene script, voiceover, excited tone. Now onto the real deal, the review of the review itself. Let's listen to the episode titled, Reviewing PewDiePie's Reviews on Memes. Prepare yourselves for an intellectual roller coaster ride. Cut to the audio of the review. Reviewer, PewDiePie said this meme was funny, but I disagree. I didn't laugh. Zero out of five meme points. Voiceover, mock surprise. Well, that's it, folks. If it doesn't make this guy laugh, it's not funny. The meme world must be quaking in its boots, and I bet PewDiePie is absolutely shattered. Voiceover, jesting tone. And now let's delve into the channel's innovative rating system. Thumbs up, thumbs down, and a question mark for I'm totally confused. It's like they're reshaping the entire concept of critique. Voiceover, cheerful tone. So there you have it, the reviewing reviewers extravaganza, a thrilling journey through the maze of opinions about other people's opinions. Stay tuned for more riveting reviews on reviewing reviewers. Until next time, this is your host, saying adieu. Brofist. Closing jingle. Closing.